How's it going, you guys? AZ Plow 21 back again with another episode of our UFC save in WMMA 5. And we have UFC Fight Night Giacchi versus McKee. Now, this is actually a very big fight because it is a semi final in the Super Lightweight Grand Prix tournament, to which, which will determine the very first Super Lightweight UFC champion, Mark Giacchi and AJ McKee, going at it in our main event. Also, got Habib taking on RDA in the co-main event. It should be a pretty good one. Here we are making our way towards UFC 292 Fajeda versus Ferguson. Three title fights on that card, so stay tuned for that as always. I appreciate you guys as always. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. Uh, also be sure to follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Links are down in the description below. But let's get right down to it. Jakeshi and McKee. Let's go ahead taking place in New Mexico. Let's get started, of course, with our first prelim. Ben Sassoli taking on Tanner Boser in the heavyweight division. And it is Ben Sassoli who gets the win here today via TKO in round number three, improving to 11-5 and 2. Uh, Salem Gare Rasilov taking on Giacomo Limos in the heavyweight division. 22-8 uh, is Rasilov taking on Limos, and it is Rasilov giving Lemos just his second loss of his career via decision here today. Mika Favale taking on Anderson Silva in the heavyweight division. And it is Anderson Braddock Silva getting a knockout in a minute and seven seconds over Mika Favale, getting his ninth win of his career, fighting out of King's MMA, working alongside Kelvin Gastelum and Marvin Vittori. Abdul Abdragwimov taking on Gabriel Green. In the welterweight division, a very good fight it looks like between two good prospects. And it's Gabriel Green coming out on top. He's now 15-4 and four and gets a win in his UFC debut here today. Chad Laprise taking on Magomed Magomed Karimov in the welterweight division. Or is this the middleweight division? 175. Uh, interesting. <clears throat> Nonetheless... Uh, Magomed Karimov, 31 wins on his record, and it'll stay 31 as Chad Laprise gets the win here today. Musa Kamenaev taking on Christian Simon. That's in the lightweight division. Musa Kamenaev and Christian Simon. Uh, go to the second round, and it's Christian Simon who comes up with the 12th win of his career via TKO. Alex Reyes taking on Leo Kuntz in the lightweight division, 17 and 4, taking on 23, 5 and 1. And it's Alex Reyes getting a knockout in just 1 minute and 11 seconds over Leo Kuntz. Reyes is now 5 and 2 in his UFC career, looking pretty good. Have to imagine he'll be ranked after another win or so. Uh, Magomed Sagid, Ali Bekov taking on Mateusz Lejirski. Uh, Ali Bekoff, a heavy favorite in this one, and with good reason, a TKO in round number one for the Russian of 31 years. Tofik Musayev, the current champion in Ryzen, taking on Shamil Musayev. Azerbaijani taking on a Russian fighter, and it's Tofik Musayev getting the TKO victory in round number one. He's now 3-1 and one in his short UFC career thus far. Moving on, Tiago Santos opening up the main show against Jim Crute in the light heavyweight division. Tiago Santos, 39 years of age. Jim Crute, a ripe 25 years old, number 19 in the division. He's coming off two straight wins and a big test against Tiago Santos. And Tiago Santos knocks out Jim Crute with a knee with a half minute left to go in round number one. Tiago Santos able to get it done. Karate hottie Michelle Watterson sporting the nice <laughs> nice look there with the with the darker hair. Uh, Courtney Iron Casey taking her on here in the straw weight division. Courtney Casey having a good run in Invicta and we brought her back up. But it's the Karate Hottie getting the win here today in a fantastic fight via submission. Michelle Watterson is the whole package. You can say that again. Yadong Song. Taking on Magic Marlon Marais, former champion. I mean, he kind of fell off. I mean, he beat Cejudo for the title, lost to Yon, and since then, he beat TJ Dillashaw, but then lost two straight. And now he finds himself facing off with Yadong Song, who's had a kind of a rough go of it, was very close to a title shot, honestly, and then lost three straight, 
Got a win over Steve Garcia. Lost to Sergio Pettis. Win over Kakeru Fuma. Takes him up against Marlon Moraes here today. And it is Yadong Song beating the former champion via knockout in round number three here today. Moving on. Jeremy Stevens in the featherweight division taking on Hamzat Dalgiev. Dalgiev 17-4. Number seven in the division. 5-1 overall. Coming off wins over Ryan Hall and the Korean Zombie. Jeremy Stevens, on the other hand, number nine in the division. Three straight wins to his record. Ricardo Lamas, John Lineker, and Patricio Pitbull. This is a big fight in the featherweight division. And it's Kamzat Dalgiev getting the win over Jeremy Stevens via submission in round number three. Co-main event time, Habib Nurmagomedov, who's been having a terrible time lately, takes on Rafael Dos Santos. I mean, you can see there, four losses. This man has not lost a fight, and he's lost four in this save. Uh, Dos Anjos, a veteran of the game, uh, and he's kind of back and forth, legitimately back and forth. Loss, win, loss, win, loss, win, loss. Uh, coming off a loss to Ismail Nardiev, which is not a terrible loss by any means. Gilbert Burns is a good loss. Ben Askin is a good loss. Like He's just back and forth. He's number 16 in the division thus far, facing off with Habib, number 22 in the welterweight division. Coming off losses over Cowboy and Diego Sanchez. So he's not doing well at all. It is our co-main event. And Habib gets a unanimous decision over Rafael Dos Anjos. Able to get back into the groove of things. Uh, and he wants to he wants to fight Ray Cooper the third, saying he will kick his ass. Interesting. Why Ray Cooper the third? Interesting. Uh, but we have arrived at our main event of the evening. It is Mark Bonecrusher Giacchi taking on AJ McKee. It is a semifinal in the Super Lightweight Grand Prix. One of these men will be fighting for the brand new title. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at Giacchi. 13 and 4 in the UFC. Number two lightweight in the world. Number three welterweight in the world. Unbelievable. Uh, Jeremy Kennedy, Dustin Poirier, Ben Askren, and Renato Moicano are the people he has defeated. Uh, thus, in, in, in succession, I should say. And AJ McKee, 6-2 and two in his UFC career, uh, coming off five straight wins. Guan Wong, Alexander Volkanovsky, Cub Swanson, Austin Lingo, and then Mike Perry. And this is a semifinal, and AJ McKee is favored ever so slightly. But it is our main event of the evening. A spot in the championship fight is up for grabs. Let's get underway with our main event. jakeshi has been on fire, though, so I'm not really sure what's going to happen here. Uh, let's see. Great right hook. Jakeshi coming forward. McKee hitting two counter left hands. Engaging in the center. Stalemate. Can't find anything. Body kick parried away. Connecting with the right hand. McKee scores with a great right hook. Nearly halfway through round number one. Uh, not, not much separating the two fighters. Good right hand. Engaging in the center once again. Attacks with the left hand. Two fighters coming forward and engaging, followed by a right cross. Final minute of round number one. It looks like it might be a back and forth type of fight, which is uh, honestly pretty exciting. <clears throat> As we head to the end of the round, and we'll see who the computer thinks won. And they're going to say it was a fun round that went to McKee, apparently. Round two now, underway. Nice right hook. Uh oh, big strike, Jakeshi backing off. Okay, clearing his head now. Jakeshi getting rocked a little bit there. Scything kick to the legs. Both fighters stepping in now. Roundhouse kick to the body. Left jab and a right cross landing for McKee. Big right hand just misses. Jakeshi roundhouse kick to the ribs. Those can hurt. Those can end fights sometimes. Bob's out of the way of a big right hand. Well, nice one two from McKee. Nice one-two lands from McKee. He looks like he's just landing. Nails a right cross. Jakeshi right hand to the body. Great right hook from Jakeshi. Very back and forth fight from these guys. And apparently it's a really good one. Jakeshi starting to slow down a little bit. Final minute of the round. Two fighters engaging. Off target with a jab. Kick to the legs. Nothing really happening here. Jakeshi aggressively taking the initiative. Round two comes to a close, and it apparently also went to McKee. The start of round number three. Two counter left hands. Limping a little bit is McKee. Interesting. That might 
Running his mouth, Jakeshi setting up a takedown. Can't get it. McKee starting to limp a little bit, so the leg kicks might come into play here in the third, fourth, and fifth round. McKee still limping here. Sorry that my phone went off. Both fighters starting to move in, landing cleanly. Running his mouth, Jakeshi trash talking in the middle of the fight. You love to see it. Uh, right hook landing. Right cross gets blocked from McKee. Counters. McKee nails a right cross. Jakeshi hits a good right hand. Uh, coming together, but we can't really do anything. Pressuring McKee. Two counter left hands from McKee. Nothing coming of these strikes. Coming together to strike. Uh-oh, massive right hook to the jaw. Jakeshi is out. It is all over. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata calls a stop. Your winner by knockout in round number three, AJ Mercenary McKee. And he is moving on to the championship fight for the super lightweight championship. Good job, AJ McKee. It looked like it was an amazing fight. Great fight. Michelle Waterson and Courtney Casey was apparently better. Uh, love to see it. Love to see it. Uh, happily giving that fight fight of the night. And let's see. Performance bonuses. Uh, yep. First round knockout. First round knockout. Alex Reyes, sure. First round knockout. And, uh, yeah. Uh, nah, tension. No, that, that's fine. All right. Nice little profit on that card. Of course, we're going to update our rankings and then take a look at what is next. Um, as, like I mentioned, three title fights on our next pay per view. And we're making our way towards UFC 300. That is insane. Uh, UFC 300. I'm planning, hoping to have all of the titles on the line, or as, as many as possible, on the line for that card. I think it would be awesome if we could have every single title on the line. Uh, just make it a huge card. Just an absolutely dumb, awesome card. You know, it's kind of as a celebration almost. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to keep the save going for as long as people will watch it. So, I'm uh, I'm enjoying it. Like I just genuinely enjoy playing this game, just seeing how the universe unfolds and you know booking these fights and whatnot. So it's not like I have any intention of stopping or anything like that. Like I I play it at my own leisure, you know, and uh, definitely on my own time. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop uh, streaming all of the fight cards, um, and I'm probably just gonna stream the pay per views from now on. Uh, just because it's it's it gets taxing having to stream and then having these extra long streams and then feeling like I need to you know do certain things you know I don't know but uh, yeah I'm gonna just be streaming the pay per views from now on hopefully you guys are okay with that and uh, when I do stream it'll be kind of a special occasion either a special occasion or I'm just playing a different game how about that but uh, nonetheless hope you guys are still watching because uh, this save is not going anywhere. All right, let's go ahead and check in on our rankings, updating here. And Alistair Overeem back in the rankings. He uh, finishes his drug suspension, so congrats to him, I guess. Uh, Jim Crute moving down. Uh, interestingly enough, Tiago Santos did not move at all after beating Jim Crute. Uh, Habib stays at number 22, but Rafael Dos Anjos uh, moves all the way down to 21, so... Uh, Habib says he wants to fight Ray Cooper the third. That might be something we look at doing. Uh, Jakeshi moving down. Uh, lightweight, nothing going on. Dalgiev into the top five at featherweight. Interesting. Bantamweight, Yadong Song into number six. Uh, Mariah down to number 16. Nothing at flyweight. Uh, Bantamweight, nothing going on. Nothing at flyweight. At strawweight, uh, Karate Hottie moves into number seven. Courtney Casey down to number 16. So the next time I see you guys will be for UFC Fight Night Alvarez versus McDonald. That should be a good fight card. That is also a super lightweight fight. And I'm thinking this fight... <coughs> I'm thinking this fight is going to be the first title eliminator. So whoever wins this fight is going to be the, for, for the first number one contender for the super lightweight Grand Prix. That is uh, what I'm thinking currently. Uh, things could change as always, but that's what's on my mind. We also got Gillespie versus Hughes and then Fajeda versus Ferguson. I'm AZ Plow 21. Appreciate you guys as always, and I will see you at the fights.